Hey, 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 everybody. How are y'all doing? I am coming to you from my cell phone because the picture is so much better than from my ancient laptop. But last time I did this, it was kind of an epic fail. So <clears throat> we are going to hope for the best this time. And I don't look all pixelated and funky to y'all. Um, I do not know that I can even see um, comments. I don't know how that works. Hey, Sherry, how are you doing? Ah, nope. That's a way for me to make a comment. Okay. <laughs> if you make a comment and I don't answer it, I'm very sorry. Um, I don't know how to do it. So anyway, um, I am just wanted to tell y'all happy New Year's. Did anybody do anything? Oh, hey. Okay. So yes, I can see comments. There they are. Um, so did anybody do anything for New Year? Anything fun? It is too cold here and Sherry you're gonna laugh specifically because I know y'all are up in Ohio and y'all y'all know real cold but it's been real cold here for us I left my house at noon today and it was 32 degrees outside there was still ice like that is crazy we live in the deep south you know we're not about this life of ice and frozen stuff um, it's, it's been in the teens last night and again tonight. So that's really, really cold. I have my poor kitty cat. Uh, he's an outdoor guy. I have two inside and one outside. So we just had to lock him in the garage and put a heater in there for him. So poor thing don't freeze to death. But, uh, anyway, so that was my, uh, story of why I didn't do anything for New Year's Eve, but that's really not why. Um, below zero. No, no thanks. <laughs> Y'all can have all of that. I don't know how people exist in that kind of weather. I really don't. Like, I'm freezing to death, and it's probably 25 degrees outside. So, um, we got the fireplace blazing. We've got the heater on, like, 70, and we're freezing. My hands are so cold. That's why you see me rubbing them. Um, but really, I'm not a New Year's Eve person to me. it's Everything is too crowded, and it's just... Um, let's see if I can get that light out of y'all's eyes. It's just crazy people and drunk drivers and... That's not me, so I'm not doing that. Um, I wanted to make sure everybody who is on ER saw my promotion for the free Desert Mist Diffuser. I haven't ever done a promotion to give away a diffuser, so this is a big thing. Um, if you place a 300 PV Essential Rewards order, you will be put into a drawing to win a free Desert Mist Diffuser and the two bonus oils, the tangerine and the peppermint. Now, I'm going to have to have 10 people qualify in order to do this drawing. So, you're on ER. Place your 300 PVR order, people. Everybody who's on ER, if you're not on ER, get on ER and place your 300 PV order. And make sure to tell um, your friends who are on ER, hey, place that 300 PV order so that we can do this drawing. So... I want to share that with y'all. I also wanted to make sure that you saw Young Living's um, ER uh, monthly promotions. Um, for at the 100 PV level, now this is an ER only, so place a 100 PV ER order and you get a Spearmint Vitality for free. Place a 190 PV order and you also get Super Cow Plus and Deep Relief. Deep Relief is also an ER only um order promotion so if you place a 190 pv er order you're going to get spearmint vitality super cow plus and deep release deep relief if you only place a 190 pv quick order you're going to get super cow plus which is still amazing but you're missing out on two really awesome oils i think i read it was like 60 dollars was the retail value so you don't want to miss out on that get on er um at the 250 level, you get Pan Away added to the mix. Pan Away is an expensive oil, and it's something that when you need it, there is no substitute. Like Pan Away, um, topically for monthly discomfort, oh, it's it's the bomb. Um, if you've been exercising and you want like an Epsom salts bath, a couple drops Pan Away, it'll, it'll do you. Um, at the 300 PV level, you also get Copaiba added to that. And Copaiba is extremely calming and grounding. It is great to support your body's response to inflammation. So super, <clears throat> excuse me, super important for um, anyone who has inflammatory issues. 
So at 300 PV ER order, you will get a free Spearmint Vitality, a free Super Cow Plus bottle of Super Cow Plus, a free 5 milliliter Deep Relief, which I'm going to talk about more in a minute. It's amazing. And a free Copaiba and a free Panaway. Plus, you're going to get entered into a drawing to win a free Desert Mist Diffuser and Tangerine and Peppermint Essential Oils. So, not counting the Desert Mist Diffuser, the Young Living promotions are worth $170.39 retail value. That's that's pretty generous. <laughs> Add in the Desert Mist Diffuser and you're at $250. Uh, so if you win the Desert Mist Diffuser, you spent $300 PV, you're getting $250 worth. So you're getting $550 worth of stuff for $300. It's a good deal. It's a good month to spend your $300 PV. Um, I am. <laughs> when I saw the promotions, because I'm always like, I'm always going to spend over my 100 of course, to be commission eligible. Usually, I spend around the 200 range, and then I'll wait. If the promotions are good, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, got to go get my 300 And you can actually qualify for these promotions twice, once in an ER order and once in a quick order. Now, obviously, in the quick order, you will not get the deep relief in the spearmint, but you will get pan away and Copaiba and Super Cal Plus, which is still amazing by itself, but not as good as the ER. So, tonight I'm going to talk about Spearmint, and I'm going to talk about Deep Relief. Um, I forgot to bring both of them in here with me, so we'll just pretend. Open your Spearmint and smell it. Um, yes, Sherry, awesome. You're going to be so happy you did that. Um, the Spearmint is like peppermint but it's a softer version of peppermint that's that's how I describe it for me it just smells and tastes and feels gentler um, on the tongue on your body um, so it's it does similar things has similar constituents as peppermint but it it's a little bit maybe milder if that's the right word so I'm sorry I've got a little tickle in my throat today spearmint is steam distilled from the leaves of the plant in, and it's from our farm in Utah. That is a farm I have been to, and it is beautiful. If you get a chance to go to a Young Living farm, do it. If you, if you're traveling and you're within an hour's drive or a couple hours drive, depending on how much you enjoy a road trip, and you're near a farm, go. You can go. We have a completely open door policy. I mean, that's that's huge. Like, what other companies do that? Everybody's like, oh no, these are proprietary secrets we can't let you see. Young Living's not like that. They're transparent, which I love. Um, so, back to Spearmint. Spearmint is up to 70% ketones, okay? That's its chemical um, makeup, all right? So, what are ketones? The, the main ketone in Spearmint is Carvone. Um, Ketones are oxygenated compounds. Oxygenated, like think of how good that is for your cells to be oxygenated. When cells do not get enough oxygen, they die. So like think oxidized, like rusted, dead. That's what happens when our cells don't get enough oxygen. That's why it's so important for us to use oxygenating um, essential oils to help our cells in our brain, in our skin. I mean, when your skin starts losing its elasticity as we get older, that's those cells dying. So oxygenation is important. Uh, ketones also stimulate cell reproduction, okay? So when would that be important? It would be important if you had a wound. It would be important um, for a scar. Um, I also read a thing, it's good for stretch marks. So any sort of things where you need the cells to regenerate. It also promotes the formation of tissues. So new tissues forming, this is a good thing, right? We need our, our bodies to constantly be in a state of producing new cells because we, that, otherwise we just start to die with all these old cells, right? Another great thing that ketones do is they liquefy mucus. This time of year, a lot of us need that. I'm sitting here thinking I probably should have went and put peppermint in my, I mean spearmint in my water today. Um, I was out and about, so I put thieves in there because everybody that I hear says they have the flu. And I don't want the flu. No, knock wood. <laughs> so I had thieves. I was thieves in it up today. I probably used a half a gallon of thieves hand sanitizer today. 
hand purifier. So, liquefies mucus. So, what are the other things that we can use spearmint for? Um, spearmint Vitality is great in, I know my mom talks about she likes it in her iced tea. That peppermint is a little too strong, a little too potent, sharp tasting. She likes the spearmint in her tea. Spearmint is also delicious in um, diffusing, or delicious smelling, whatever. It's, it also smells great if you diffuse it with citrus oils. It smells amazing diffused with any of the woodsy pine Cedarwood, spruce, northern light black spruce and cedarwood smells amazing diffused together. It also um, is, sorry, I lost my train of thought here. See, the other thing spearmint does is it supports digestion. So if you have issues where you you need some digestive support, you can use spearmint topically. You can use the spearmint vitality internally, which brings me to answer a question. The difference between what is a vitality oil and what is the non-vitality of the same oil. There is no difference. It's just a label. The FDA says one product can't be labeled for both ingestion and topical and aromatic use. So we have one label that's for ingestion, one label that's labeled topical and aromatic. But the what's in the bottle, literally the same product. So don't get hung up on that label. Spearmint also can help balance metabolism. So a lot of us have New Year's resolutions that we're trying to get in shape, maybe lose a little fat, gain a little muscle. Well, spearmint is a good friend for you in that effort. It actually helps to burn fats and to burn toxins out of the body, to rid the body of toxins. So that also helps our metabolism work better when we're cleaner, we're running purer. You know, think of a car engine, it, you get the junk out of it and it, it runs better, right? It also relaxes the muscles in the stomach. So if you're having a situation where you have tension or anxiety, a lot of people, I know my husband does this, when he's having a very high anxiety moment, he carries that in his stomach. And he'll he'll get tense in there, and then it'll start giving him discomfort, and it all needs to just relax. So spearmint is great for helping those muscles relax. Another thing I like, to, I just looked at my own note. Another thing that I like to diffuse spearmint with is stress away. Spearmint and stress away. It's very calming. It's, it's emotionally balancing in the sense that it removes a mental, mental strain, mental fatigue. So it's uplifting, but it's also calming. It's uplifting because it helps balance all that out where you're not feeling so overwhelmed, but it helps you be calm and focused, if that makes sense. All right, on to deep relief. So here's a question that I had. I, I was not sure about this. So the PV promo this month has the five milliliter deep relief. It's just in a five mil, regular five milliliter bottle. It's not the 10 milliliter roll bottle. So I said, what's the difference? Are we only getting half as much deep relief? Is that, you know, from the roller bottle? Well, here's the difference. The roller bottle has carrier oils in it already. It has fractionated coconut oil, and extra virgin olive oil in it. So it's already diluted, which is great, which is exactly what you want um, when you're wanting to roll it on your neck. You want that to just be ready to go and not have to go add a carrier oil. The five milliliter deep relief is all the same ingredients as the roller bottle except the carrier oil. There's no carrier in it. So you can take this five milliliter and make your own roller bottle with it. You can also use a couple drops in a bath. Like, I can't imagine. I cannot wait to take a deep relief bath. I have never popped the roller off my deep relief and put it in my bathtub. So I'm excited about using this to do that. I just can't imagine how relaxing a deep relief bath would be and how good it would smell. I love, I love the fragrance of deep relief. So what is in deep relief? Peppermint. Okay, we know how good peppermint is for us. It's great for supporting a healthy response to inflammation. It's cooling. It's dilating to the system. So, in other words, think of when you smell peppermint, how it feels like all your like nasal passages are opening. Well, it does that for everything. So, it's allowing more blood flow, more oxygen. We're back to oxygenating. And it's very healthy and quick to penetrate into the tissues of the body. Peppermint's a great one when you need something to be penetrated into the body to really get down. The next ingredient in deep relief is lemon. Lemon is great for, 
it's it's warming. It's been used historically for muscle soreness and arthritis. It has been used to promote healing and energy for centuries. Lemon is great for your body. D-limonene, we need to be using something with D-limonene every single day. Balsam fir. So you can remember that any of the big trees, just think of how they ground into the ground. All the big trees, they're going to be grounding. So they're grinding for you emotionally, but they also do that for you internally. So if you roll deep relief on your muscles that are all, it's going to help them relax how they're supposed to be. Re get in touch with their correct state instead of that hyper state. It is anchoring. It can also help relieve the feeling of discomfort from overworked muscles and joints. So think of after you've had exercise, um, it, where you've really worked muscles deep relief is going gonna, is gonna to be your best friend. Copaiba is the next ingredient in deep relief. As I talked about before, Copaiba is great for healthy response to inflammation. It's extremely calming to the mind and the body. It's also a driver, an amplifier. So when you have a blend, when you add Copaiba to it, you're really helping amplify all the other oils. It's very great to add a little Copaiba when you're doing a blend yourself. The next ingredient is clove. Clove is also great for um, body's healthy response to inflammation. You're going to get inflamed. Your body just needs to not overreact. It needs to be healthy and knowing how to react to that. It also helps support the immune system and has been used as a topical analgesic. Clove is great topically. Um, if you have just clove, you can also use it on mouth pain. I wouldn't like roll really deep relief inside my mouth, but <laughs> you could put it outside right here. Um, you could really put deep relief wherever. Winter green. Winter green is the next thing, and it has cortisone-like properties. So it promotes healing. It's definitely helpful for discomfort that comes from inflammation. It smells good. <laughs> um, it is very great for joints and bones and muscles. Helichrysum is the next ingredient. Helichrysum is cleansing to the blood. It's good for your circulatory system. It is also a very powerful anti-inflammatory. Helichrysum is. Um, that's the next thing. The next ingredient is vetiver. Vetiver is great to help your body when you get those spasms. Vetiver is super, super calming. A lot of people diffuse vetiver at night. I use vetiver in my calm and blend that I have in a roller bottle that I use at night or anytime I'm feeling stressed. My husband uses it every day because he is a very high anxiety person. So um, vetiver is always in that. It's super calming. I love how vetiver smells. It is also topically warming. So you're going to hear you got the cooling things and then you've got the warming things. And so deep relief and when I explain how I feel about deep relief is it's sort of got that icy hot kind of um, feeling to it. It provides coolness and warmth at the same time, which is comforting. And the last ingredient in deep relief is Palo Santo, which is has been historically used to get rid of negative energy. So uh, yes, Angela Vetiver is amazing. Um, vetiver hack, y'all. Vetiver is super, super thick. So it's hard to pour out in, out of the bottle um, to diffuse it or add it to your blends. If you stick it down in your bra or under your arm or in your pocket for about 10 or 15 minutes and warm it up, it will get thin. It will become less viscous and you'll be able to use it better. Anyway, back to Palo Santo, which is the last ingredient in Deep Relief. It's also great, um, has been historically used to relieve muscle pain and rheumatism. So again, back to supporting those joints. So Deep Relief, that's all the ingredients. My personal experience with Deep Relief, I keep Deep Relief in my purse at all times. I am never without Deep Relief. I have one in my purse and one in my bedroom. Um, I use it constantly on my knees. Um, and then anytime, maybe you slept funny and something feels weird or um, you worked out a little bit too hard or you worked in the yard a little too hard, Deep Relief is your go-to for that. And I'm super, super excited about getting this uh, five milliliter of Deep Relief that's 
undiluted and will let me play around with it a little bit more. I'm thinking of making like a muscle rub. So maybe do some coconut oil and maybe shea butter or something, whip it together, add some of that deep relief and make like my own kind of muscle rub with that. And then you could add a few things, add some, I don't know what you'd need to add to deep relief, frankly, but uh, you could play around with it if you, um, if you were so inclined. So this you just apply on location. Deep relief is also great because of the helichrysum and the other things that are good for circulation. It's also great if you have bruises. Um, it will help your um, your bruise uh, go away quicker. It's also great for tension headaches. When you're having a headache that you're trying to address, you want to um, try to find where it starts. So for a lot of people, that's back here or it could be here. Now, if you're going to rub deep relief on your temple or across your forehead, just be careful. You don't want to get it in your eyes. It's not going to harm your eyes, but it's not going to feel good. <laughs> and as you roll it on your forehead, you might find it makes your eyes water a little bit. That'll ease up after just a minute or two. So that is what I have to share with y'all about deep relief and spearmint. Don't forget that you're going to get those two oils free this month with a 190 PV ER order. So it has to be ER. Those are the two that are only ER. The other ones you get... Um, the Super Cow Plus, the Panaway, and the Copaiba. That's your quick order once, well, any order. So I hope that you guys had a great evening. I hope that you have learned something. Uh, please feel free to continue to comment and ask questions. And I will see y'all later. Have a good evening.